Hello, my name is Daniel Pipersberg, a senior at Cherry Hill High School East, and I have the privilege of introducing Marion Brooks. Marion Brooks has 24 years of experience in the pharmaceutical industry, of which 20 have been with Novartis Pharmaceuticals. Throughout his career, Marion has taken on roles of increasing responsibility and has diversified his experience in roles that include head of marketing and head of sales. He is currently the Vice President and U.S. Country Head of Diversity and Inclusion for Novartis, where he leads the development and implementation of the, of the diversity and inclusion strategy for Novartis, overseeing 15,000 U.S. employees. In his role, Marion has implemented innovative approaches to attract, retain, and develop talent, including the development of new hiring guidelines that require gender and racial diversity in candidate slates on interviewing plan panels. Throughout his career, Marion has demonstrated outstanding performance, winning numerous awards. In 2020, he was recognized as one of the top 100 human resource professionals in the world at the 2020 ONCON Icon Awards. His businesses awards include Director of the Year, Business Leader of the Year, Training Excellence Award, Worldwide Franchise Award, and numerous Business Excellence Awards. In addition to his work at Novartis, Marion is an internationally certified executive coach and the author of the number one bestseller, What You Don't Know Is Hurting You, Four Keys to a Phenomenal Career. The book won three awards at the New York City Big Book Awards. Awards include Best Career, Best Self-Help, and Best African-American Nonfiction. Raised in Fort Worth, Texas, Marion has remained committed to people and their development. He stays true to this passion through his volunteer work in the community and numerous mentoring relationships. He was a founder of currently serves as chairman of the board of directors of Sunshine's Open Door Foundation, an organization focused on supporting foster children and a member of the advisory board for the Healthcare Business Women's Association, HBA. Without further ado, here's Marion E. Brooks. Thank you. Good morning to all the dignitaries, parents, and students. Daniel, thank you so much for all those kind words and for serving as such a great example for your peers. I'd like to thank Governor Murphy, Secretary of State Way, and the MLK Commemorative Commission for inviting Novartis to partner with you today in celebrating Dr. King's legacy by empowering our youth. Young people, we hear you, we see you, you matter. At Novartis, we are committed to reimagining medicine and standing up against racism and injustice for all people. When we think about what we've done over the years at Novartis for the young people, we are very proud. For over 20 years, we have sponsored our multicultural team mentoring program. This three-day program allows young people to come to our campus to be mentored by Novartis leaders. We've served over 2,000 young people in this program, motivating many of them to become first-generation college students. We've also hosted our disability mentoring program, where we bring young people with disabilities to our campus for mentoring to help expand what they see as possible for them. And we're now partnering with HBCUs to provide mentorship as well as scholarships to invest in the next generation of leaders. When Dr. King started the civil rights movement, he was a young man and people placed a lot of limitations on what was possible for him. But he went on to inspire the world and change a nation. As a young black boy growing up in Fort Worth, Texas, people placed a lot of limitations on what they thought was possible for me. But my grandmother told me, the only limitations you have are the ones that you accept. So I decided to not accept the limited view that other people had of me. And I wanna share with you three things that will either accelerate or derail your journey and your career at some point. Number one is about the people that you surround yourself with. There's research that shows that the five people you spend the most time with, your average annual income will be the average of theirs. Now, this is not about money. This is about surrounding yourself with success-minded people who are trying to grow and develop and do positive things 
and are also willing to support you in your growth and development. So be very careful about your top five. Number two is about persistence. No matter how good you are, no matter how smart you are, you're going to run into obstacles. We all have and we will all continue to run into them. What separates average lives and careers from exceptional lives and careers is the ability to identify opportunities in your obstacles versus focusing on the obstacle. Because what you focus on grows. Think about all the obstacles that were placed in front of Dr. King and the other civil rights leaders, but they stayed persistent and we are all reaping the benefits of their persistence. So you have to stay persistent and look for opportunities in your obstacles. And number three, you have to continue to invest in yourself. People invest in people who are investing in themselves. So continue to invest in your education and your growth and your development, and people will rally around you and help you along your journey. My life is a perfect example of that. So I wanna encourage you all to follow my grandmother's advice, and please do not accept any limitations that anyone tries to put on you and your life. And I want you all to go out there and dream big like Dr. King. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you do amazing things.